Today, senators will keep working to pass the National Defense Authorization Act, the legislation that authorizes the resources, capabilities, pay, and benefits that our service members rely on to be successful. The operational missions and tasks ahead for our men and women in uniform are as profuse as they are challenging. That's why it's essential that we meet our commitment to them by providing the equipment and the training they need to accomplish their missions. We should always remember that we have an all-volunteer force, and in turn, we must support our warriors with the pay and benefits they and their families count on at home. This National Defense Authorization touches on every one of these issues. We've already made an initial down payment toward rebuilding the military and restoring combat readiness with the spring funding bill. Let's take this opportunity to add to that progress now. As Chairman McCain pointed out yesterday, this bill is the product of hard work from both sides. In committee, Republicans and Democrats offered scores, scores of amendments that were ultimately adopted uh, to the bill that's before us. And all 27 of the Armed Services Committee members voted to favorably report this bill out. So there's no reason it shouldn't earn the same kind of bipartisan backing from the full Senate now. I look forward to taking a vote in support of the men and women in uniform who courageously put their lives on the line to protect and defend each of us. As I do so, I'll be thinking of the service members and their families back in my home state of Kentucky, and I know so many other colleagues will be thinking of the service members in their home states and those deployed abroad as well. So let's keep working to bring this National Defense Authorization Bill over the finish line.